everyone welcome back to day five of this juice cleanse video series super stoked to have you here with me still and I am so glad that you maybe have stumbled upon this video series if you guys are interested in anything to deal with juicing or meal planning or veganism gratitude how to achieve your goals well-being mindset how to just feel awesome then totally subscribe to my channel hit the subscribe button down below in one of these corners you just hit that little watermark and it'll subscribe you and if you really want to get cool then you'll hit the little bell down below and it'll alert you every time I come out with a new video so today this video series is all about juice cleansing and today is day number five and we are gonna talk about what else can I drink on a juice cleanse a lot of people get super bored with their juices if they've been doing it for more than three days. You want to keep a little bit of variety, but you also want to hydrate your body. So I'm going to run you through what's good for hydrating your body and what's not and why. All right, so what's good for hydrating your body? Water coconut water, you can do hot water with lemon, you can do any herbal teas, so like this one. Let's see. Mm, herbal teas. This one specifically is for helping to detox out of your system. So it's going to help you draw those toxins out of your system, especially if you're a super toxic person. If you eat a lot of processed foods, a lot of high dairy, a lot of sodas, a lot of alcohol, a lot of caffeine, this is your ticket. This, charcoal in water, bentonite clay in water, any of those. Let me just refocus this on my face. Whoop, there we go. So those are the kinds of things that you're going to want to be drinking. You want to stay away from any caffeinated tea, so stay with herbal teas like this one or turmeric and ginger, things like that that don't have any green tea or black tea or oolongs in them. So things you don't want to drink, soda, caffeine, so that's coffee, green tea, black tea, oolongs. You want to stay away from alcohol. You want to stay away from iced teas. You want to stay away from dairy. Anything that's heavy, caffeinated, or taxing on the body that's going to cause the body to have to detox out of your system, like caffeine and alcohol. So you want to try to stay away from those things as much as possible anyways because they're taxing on your system and your body can't do its natural functions of detoxing every single day. So stay away from those so that your body can do what it needs to do, but especially stay away from them when you're on a juice cleanse. And like I said in the first video, try to wean yourself off of them up to a week if not more before your juice cleanse. It'll just make the detoxing a little bit easier on your body and you won't feel so crappy. So the reasons why you want to hydrate more than just drinking your juices is because the water and all of those high water drinks like the herbal teas, the smooth move teas, anything like that, the coconut water, it's going to help to push the toxins out of your body. It's going to help to rid them out of your system so that they're not sitting there all junked up and clogged in your body. You don't want that. You don't want to be constipated on a juice cleanse. You want everything to be flowing out. So make sure to hydrate. And another reason is that it hydrates your system. It hydrates all of those really amazing organs that do work for you every single day. So when they're nice and plump and hydrated, things move more easily, they move more efficiently, and if you have a lot of stomach pains, digestive issues, it's gonna help so much. So hydrate the body. You're mostly made of water, so it makes sense anyways. So always hydrate the body. And then another really, really important fact that I actually just learned is that when you drink enough liquids and you stay hydrated, you are actually thinning your blood. So when you're on a detox or on a cleanse, you want to thin your blood so that all those toxins in that blood can move more easily through your liver so that it can filter the toxins instead of taxing your body so much. So like I talked in either video one or two, I can't remember, if you are super toxic, if you've been eating a lot of crappy foods, your body is gonna feel that. It's gonna feel that influx of toxins being scrubbed up and moved around. So you really wanna help your body flow them out of your system with the drinks, the coconut water, 
charcoal is going to be amazing, bentonite clay, the smooth move tea. You're going to want to help to get those out of your system, but water works amazing. So it will thin your blood and help to move those toxins more easily through your liver so that it can filter them and get them out. That's what I had for you guys today. No updates from me. I'm feeling good. I am past my hunger cravings and I am feeling a lot better today. And I think that's all that I had to tell you. I'm just, I feel a lot better. My energy is a little bit higher than it was the first three days, which are to be expected, like I explained to you guys. So that's about it. My skin's feeling good. I'm feeling good. And I hope you guys are feeling good. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments down below and I will be more than happy to answer them as I do this sort of stuff all day long for my coaching business. So I can give you a lot of good answers. And if not, we can figure them out together. I love learning about this stuff. So if you have something new to tell me, write that down there too. I hope to hear from you guys and I'm sending you lots and lots of love.